for a Steeler team that I'm about to make an argument still has a lot to play for. What are we hearing about James Conner? Relatively positive news. It sounds like the AC diagnosis is better than if the X-ray had revealed a fracture. So I think it's possible he has to miss some practice time on a short week. But I think there's some optimism that he might be able to play against the Colts on Sunday. We'll see how the week goes for him. That shapes up to be a very big game. Swagoo, I'm about to make a case to you. Right? I'm a lawyer, and, and, and you're the skeptical <laughs> judge, okay? We have talked at length at this desk about how the division never ran away from the Browns, so they still have hope. Well, the division never ran away from the Steelers either. They are right now sitting at three and five. They are only two games out of first in the division. And the Ravens, who lead that division, play New England this week. I'm sitting here telling you that next Monday morning, the Steelers are going to be one game out of first in the AFC North. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'll say to that. No, listen, G, I, I know everybody's excited. Let's not forget it was the damn Dolphins. I, that's I, number one. I, I number two is positioning because of how abysmal this conference has been, this division has been. So the Steelers are sitting there. You know what I saw last night, though? I saw Mason Rudolph miss a lot of passes. I saw him hang in the pocket. And I'm thinking to myself, if the Dolphins had any pass rusher, they'd have sacked Mason Rudolph ten times last night. This team had a great night against a terrible team that's tanking for Chase Young as opposed to Tua. Mm. And then when you start thinking about mm. how Pittsburgh wants to move forward, there were some bright spots. They're still trying to figure out, who, can Mason Rudolph be a legit quarterback? Can they do all this? But hell no, G. They, come on, man. I, again, I'm not making an argument they're good. I'm making an argument the division might be bad, and I misspoke. They're not 3-5. and five, They're 3-4. and four. It's not as bad even as that. Like we talked about was zero the Dolphins, and I was like, oh, man, coaches don't tank. Players don't uh, – I, I, don't, I don't know. This play when – I mean, they blitzed eight guys and did not cover anyone else. And to Mina's point, that's why she drew the tank on the field. What do you think? I've never seen anything like that. I'd ask for a trade. Mick but already I, did. They all I, do. I, I would. <laughs> I, I would ask for a trade. If I'm a player if – I'm, if I'm Xavier Howard and I'm looking at us call this defense right here, I'm like, okay, I see what this is for real. And that was like 30 and 20. And, and listen, this is what everybody was thinking last night. I put, I put the same tweet up. I was like, Miami really tanking. Like, visually, I, that I was a tank. To, I need to keep it here, Nick, and I'm sorry. I, and, and Nick is not sitting here, but for all of you at home, I'm talking to someone who's not in the conversation, but I need another minute here because let's make it clear. We talk all the time about how organizations tank, but players and coaches don't. That is a defense on that play that is inexcusable, right? There is no other way to defend it. Gee, I played in this league nine years. And if my coach called to play like that on third and 25, we having a damn fight on the sideline. I, I don't believe in that anymore because, look, they, the Dolphins players know all the talk that's been surrounding the Miami Dolphins as far as what they're trying to do for the future. That's, that's, a, that's a give me play. That's, a like, let, that's almost like let them score so we can get the ball back and score. Except it's not time the, to do that yet. That's horrible. The only time I've ever seen anything remotely close to that has been a Hail Mary situation where you took five guys or four guys and put them on the goal line and forced the team to throw short and then everyone rally and tackle. I've never seen. This is a the opposite third, of that. Yeah, and this was a, like a, a big moment. So, like yes. the game was still in play here right before the half, obviously. I've yeah. never seen anything that structurally it ain't unsound no way, on purpose. There's no way you should be in that. No way, unless you're trying to get the first pick of the draft. All right, yeah, we, 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 that, I, I think that was necessary to say because this is something that I think people have to be taking into account when they're looking at what they're seeing out there on the field. I think that was a point that was worth making. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.